dump plate bakers, you have 30 minutes to make as many <laughs> nice looking dumplings as you can <laughs> because these folks will take your dumplings and they will judge them on how nice they look. I got a rubber band. <laughs> All right. And begin. All right. All righty. Well, Giovanni, obviously you have the, probably the most experience making oh, dumplings. So what would you say your uh, dumpling making technique is? Uh, I, I actually defer to uh, Bob as oh. having the most uh, oh. experience. I'll defer right yeah. back to you. <laughs> <laughs> so you got some ping pong action going on, right? Yeah, uh, my, my technique is basically just get her done and just hope for the best. Yeah. All right, well, that's a, I think that's a good philosophy to have. Bob has some coals over here. You want to describe that for us? Coals. <laughs> <laughs> Where? Why? Why? Coals? Well, yeah. like, a, like a little fan shape. Oh, Isn't very it pretty? Nice. Really pretty? Yeah. You're very distracting nice. me, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> and we've got uh, Giovanni, which will have a little bit of a gyoza more kind of form mm. to it. You know, a little bit of the uh, the, the form on top. Oh, Derek is very nice too. He's got some oh, folds yeah, going on folds. there too. Blue and folds. Wow. So, how about you, Derek? Where did you pick up this uh, folding technique? Uh, my dad and my dad's mother, actually. Um, we did used to uh, make quite a bit of dumplings here back home in Hong Kong. Oh, yeah, very yeah. cool. So what kind of dumplings would you make? Uh, pork and chives, I think it is. Yeah, chives, pork probably, chives. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Um, or uh, um, pork and, uh, well, pork and uh, sometimes we do uh, uh, pork and bok choy. Oh, okay. Actually, yeah. Great, great. And a few other things. Nice. Well, now that Ooh. we're speaking about some ingredients, how about um, Kevin? Can you talk about a little bit of, uh, you know, some of the ingredients that uh, our gentlemen here are working with tonight? Uh, tonight we have pork and cabbage. Uh, very oh, yes. standard recipe. Uh, that's quite simple and straightforward. Uh, kindly provided by Sunrise Market, a local uh, produce supplier. And, um, yeah, all the ingredients are actually sourced locally, including the dumpling skin. Uh, and, yeah, it's actually a lot of connections to Chinatown that way in terms of Chinatown supplies uh, the neighborhood with a lot of local uh, produce and making sure that our residents and our local food systems are being supported. Yeah. Awesome. So, yeah, all of the ingredients then here have been sourced locally, as you said, mm -hmm. here, here. Great. So it looks like, I think, the numbers here, we've got, it's almost, it's a dead even race. Huh? We have, each one of them have four going on. Oh, okay. oh come on. Right. Really we have different sort of shapes going on here. I think we have more of a kind of like a pinching technique on the very top, and then we have more of sort of a gyoza effect going on here. So, wow. all right. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta make them pretty for the audience. Absolutely. So I want to tell a story. I yeah. was asked to tell a story, so I'm going to tell. I'm going to tell. <laughs> a story. So I was telling when I came in here late uh, that this reminds me of Friday nights. Mm. Uh, my dad would be out, but my mom, all of us would be in the kitchen, my siblings and myself, and this is what we'd be doing. We'd be making about 300 to 500 to 700 yeah. dumplings for the next week. And it was a time not only making dumplings, but also yelling and screaming at each other. <laughs> <laughs> so it was more or less like, you know, how was your week? And sort of like, who wants to know? And kind of, <laughs> and my mother would say, behave yourself. And no, we will not behave ourselves. And ba basically, we make about 100 dumplings, and we, then we cook them, and then we eat them. So that's why we had to stay up late at night, to cook all that m many more dumplings. So, and that's my story I'm holding on to. <laughs> 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 so Giovanni, I know that you're actually quite the chef. Can you talk about sort of that, your relationship with cooking and food? I didn't start cooking until uh, I moved out of my house. I didn't, um, and, and mostly I was in fourth grade university and I, I started to cook for my housemates because I was like a, a homework avoidant. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so 
so awesome. So cooking is a means of procrastination. It's not a bad sort of technique. And um, what kind of food? I know that you uh, cook a lot of Filipino food. Not but so much because oh. um, my wife's vegetarian, and oh, okay. Filipino food, as much as I love it, is like so San Diego based. Mm -hmm. So I, I like going out to Filipino food. But, um, at home, it's it's a lot of vegetarian, Chinese, or vegetarian Indian. Okay. Um, I like Mexican. I like I like big flavors. So nice. Yeah. A little tally, a little count. Okay, so Ronnie and Jake and Michael. Yeah, ten. ten, ten so it's a dead heat right oh, now. Wow. Ten across the board. So who looks the best? <laughs> I don't know. We'll have to judge. We'll have to do let you the have audience to ask? Probably, yeah. probably Bob. Bob don't get yeah. Do you have to ask? The guy's talking about making five hundred at a time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, Derek? How about your relationship? Are you a big cook? Me? Uh, well, I uh, I haven't started cooking until uh, I moved out, like, similarly. Mm -hmm. um, so I left home when I was uh, 16, home being Hong Kong. Oh, um, yeah. Yeah, and then out of necessity, you know, I, I, I got to eat, so I just kind of started cooking for myself. Uh, but uh, I have come to find cooking fun. Okay. Um, which is nice handiwork, is to make something nice. Yeah, 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 something you can eat afterwards, which is yeah. always nice. Yeah, and it's always a nice bonding experience if you cook with people. Mm -hmm. So is I really that, like that. Yeah. Is that kind of your preference to kind of do the communal cooking kind of thing? Like two, three people. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it gets crowded. Right. Yeah. But uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Cooking. So we've got a lot of sort of different <sighs> techniques going on. This is on actually here. a very nice neutral way to meet people. Yeah. Having a dumpling wrapping party, whether you know them or not, it's just a question of getting together because this is what we have in commonality is mm. making dumplings and we get to find out because eventually we're going to be eating them all, mm -hmm. but we get to find out about each and every one of us. Yeah. Mm. Excellent. Well, and making dumplings with friends who don't know how to make them and yeah. then you get to teach them and, and maybe, yeah. Costly lesson. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I would try to step way too much in the dumplings when I was a kid, learning how to make them too. Mm -hmm. When did you start making dumplings? Oh, when I was super young. Um, yeah. yeah, my parents and my grandparents. Well, my yeah, my, my parents and my grandparents. Yeah, we just make dumplings once in a while, usually when it gets cold. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and um, yeah, nice family bonding experience. Got like a few different techniques going on here. I noticed Giovanni, like when you kind of lay in the meat, it's a little bit more kind of flat, and then we have a bit more of a, like a rounded kind of meatball mm. over oh. here with Derek. Can you talk about a little bit about you know the filling and you know how much are you? How do you decide how much goes into a dumpling? Kind of a golden ratio, I guess. I don't okay. know. <laughs> Sixteen. I just turned thirty, so about fourteen years. <laughs> just about fourteen years. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good genes. Thank 
you very much. I really yeah. appreciate it. <laughs> Oh, I just uh, do a spoonful and hope for the best. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, how about we do another count? Yep. See how this is yeah, going on. Yeah, we're at on. 10 minutes now, oh. so we can do a count. And a oh competitor, no. you might want to take a look at your co-competitor's results and uh, just kind of check out the other fellas up there, see how they're doing, mm -hmm. and see how you do and <laughs> how you're doing. We have 21 over wow. here. Yeah. So let's see, two, yeah, four, losing. six, eight. 18 17 over here. here. 17 over oh. here. So Giovanni might be, uh, you know, taking it away a little bit. Oh. Well, I think Giovanni needs to be asked a question. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Does anybody have a question? Oh, a very goodness. difficult yes. question <laughs> for Giovanni. Yes. Right up front. Oh, no. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. What's the square root of 136? <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. Uh -huh. Actually, Giovanni used to be in, in oh, he went to engineering school, I have is that right? Degree. So he's actually ex excellent in math. I've seen <laughs> yeah. him do crazy equations in his head. So, okay, how about a question up front? What is the first famous artist? What's the first famous artist? You mean like the most, or what do you mean? Yeah, the most famous artist. For who? For Giovanni? Okay, what's the most famous artist for you, Giovanni? Um, like, do you mean like visual arts or theater arts, or what do you, what do you mean? Sorry. And, my, and you mean my favorite, or like who I think is the most famous representative? Uh, Jeffrey Rich. Jeffrey Rich, wow. Yeah. <laughs> Jeffrey Rich, that's good. I'm going to guess. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I guess Da Vinci, just because, you know, like everybody knows the Mona Lisa and everybody. That, hmm, who, I don't know. That's Michelangelo? That's a really good question, though. Do you have a favorite? Do you have a favorite artist throughout the years? to make an announcement. Giovanni is now in the stacking phase. Oh. He has the first layer and he's now stacking. So Derek and Bob, get on it yeah. here. Yeah. Chop. <laughs> no worries. Any other distracting questions? Uh, I have a question. How about I have a question. Uh, this is for Bob and David. Is there any reason you should understand about the philosophies about dumplings or the yeah. roast of dumplings? Well, what I've been taught is that dumplings represents little parcels of gold. Oh. Parcels of gold. From a Taoist approach, it's more or less like, like dim sum now. It means touch the heart. Okay, so the dumplings relate to the same way. So that's that's a, the significant meaning that I was, that I was told. The uh, shape of the dumpling. Shape of the dumpling, right? check-in about the uh, the form of the dumplings. We're going to have a, almost a little bit of a vote. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See what, uh, all right. We're 30 so seconds away from 15 minutes. From 
15 minutes. So what? this is no. Giovanni's dumpling shake right over here. We have a bit of the gyoza package going on. They should, <laughs> and they are all standing up on their own. Very good. We also have. Exactly. We have over here Mr. Derek's. All Very of mine nice are bowls, though. All of them are beautiful. Yep. And then. And is that Bob? Yes, we have so Bob. So right Bob, we here. actually have like a little bit of the flair. So how about we do a, a little bit of a vote? Yeah. But who who do we like so far? A preliminary vote. Preliminary. Right. Preliminary. And this is uh, strictly for form, <laughs> not taste yet. So how about uh, Giovanni's freestanding dumplings? Anyone? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Snap too. Okay, how about uh, over here, Mr. Derek with the folds? Yes. All right. Very nice. Yeah, very yeah, light, yeah. but very supportive. This feels like a very supportive group. And we're with Kevin. Yeah, Bob. Yes! yes! Yeah. <laughs> it actually sounds pretty even. So this might be a volume thing mm -hmm. here then um, in terms of the winner. Sure, yeah. So All just right. before we go into any more questions or anything, I just want to let people know kind of what it's So that's like a, a knowledge center for performance all over North America. So they have all kinds of articles, journals, interviews with theater makers from all over North America talking about the biggest ideas that are happening on stage um, from LA to Toronto to Nunavut. So um, we're part of HowlRound. We, li we like to try and bring uh, events that are happening in Vancouver all over North America via HowlRound TV, and um, it's a great service because they provide it free to theater makers all over North America so that we can try and share what happens. And it's really important for us because theater is really local, right? It's live, it's all of us being in the room together, and uh, HowlRound gives us a chance to be in the room with people from all over uh, the continent. So um, so thanks, HowlRound. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you. Howie. So of course, they don't get to try the dumplings. That's right. <laughs> that will be the benefit of the live <laughs> It's sort of catching up over here, although I don't know, Giovanni's Hall is pretty, yeah. that's a pretty wide hall there. there. Yeah, yeah, Derek, I don't know. I don't you know. You need to pick it up a little bit here. Something fancy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Not everyone has to be perfect there, Derek. I'm just letting them win. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the young guy, right? Letting it be. All right. One more question? How about you? Oh, yes. Giovanni, yeah, Please. he needs the distraction, so. <laughs> okay. I believe that is World War One. Yeah. Did you guys go to World War Two or one? Once. Once. Yeah. Two, I think, was thirty nine to forty five. Whoa. Wow, he's an like an engineer, an artistic director, and a historian just right over here. I have a question. Oh, sorry. Oh. How about we take one extra question? When did the dinosaurs go extinct, Giovanni? Good distraction. So Adele, it sounds like you had a question. Adele, what is your question? My question is, is there any way, like what, what are the many ways uh, a novice dumpling maker could screw this up? All righty. making me paranoid. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How about any thoughts from Derek and, and Bob? Because it seems like you guys have some techniques, so obviously that came with time. No, just basic get to it and 
practice. If you screw up, it's fine to screw up. Yeah. But just keep on doing it. That's all. That's one thing about dumping. That's one thing about everything. Anything you, anything that I do in my life. Dumping like life. How about you, Derek? Any any tips for any novices there? You can still eat it even if it falls apart into water. <laughs> yeah. That's true. And all looks the same in your stomach anyway. Exactly. So. All right, we are two thirds of the way in. Twenty oh. minutes in, folks. All right. How many more ten minutes. Can you make in ten minutes. Yep. Come so on, it's everybody. Time to here. Is hungry. Here we go. Mm -hmm. So how about do we have any sort of Horror, not horror stories, but like kind of first time making dumplings, sort of um, mistake stories at all? How about you, Bob? Um, uh, what I did one time is that I put egg in the pork mixture and became too runny. Oh. And what would happen is that I would put the filling in and then the only thing, everything would just melt and be like a, a pasta pork dumpling soup because there was no dumpling. <laughs> <laughs> just minced pork. So basically the liquefy. Liquefy, yeah. All right. How about you, Derek? Oh, we would, uh, when we were kids, we would make dumplings with the weirdest shapes. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Just with, like, double dough and little legs and faces and, and, I mean, they don't turn out very tasty because there's too much dough, but um, mm -hmm. it was fun while it lasted. Yeah, yeah. How about you, uh, Giovanni? One of the big mistakes you can make is um, when you heat the water, you do it on both sides. Seems like ev all three of you have that technique, which is great. They're all binding really nicely. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Seems like we got a question. How about uh, back there? Yes, we had a we had a novice who wanted to show off how she did a dumpling making party, and there was one time in particular they all looked like the same quarter off. <laughs> oh, really? I just told the same story. <laughs> oh, That's my right. Wife, so yeah. <laughs> I was talking about Tim. We're speaking Tim, right? Yes. Yeah. 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 That was a disaster. <laughs> I go to the stuff just across from Oakland in the park, that yellow building. That's the new Double Happiness. I think Double Happiness, yeah. They have I will pull it down and show it to you. A baby. Say what? A baby. A baby. Baby? Yes, it's a pork mixture. Right here on YouTube? Yes, right here. Oh. Those are two mistakes. <laughs> I never thought. Mm. Nice. How about anyone else on our... Uh, Dumpling making challenge, any dumpling recommendations in the neighborhood? Uh, no. Not so much? <laughs> no. I guess anywhere, if you walk within this radius, you'll find something pretty well, I good. I go to Double, ha Double Happiness, and then I'll, on Pender Street, 200 block East Pender, there's Cam Wai. Cam Wai? Cam they got good, they got good uh, wontons there and everything. Oh, yeah, very nice. Yeah. So, Bob, obviously you're with the um, company you work closely with Chinatown. Are there any sort of restaurants that you would recommend just within the neighborhood? Well, uh, right now, uh, there was Jay Dynasty. I guess they'll be reopening up. Mm -hmm. uh, what I really am happy about, reading the papers, about this mm -hmm. Taiwan beef noodle place opening up on Kiefer and Main. Oh. And uh, that's been kind of exciting. I think that will be exciting. Yeah, yeah that will be really exciting. There's a lot of like exciting sort of cuisine in Chinatown going on right now. So. Well, in one sense, not so much in the traditional sense. I mean, right now, because of all what's happening, is that the only one is Florida and Game Wan in terms mm -hmm. of traditional mm -hmm. Chinese. But uh, of course, we have Bao Bay and Sai Wu, which is more of a contemporary contemporary application. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's all part of uh, revitalization of having a healthy respect for the past but also thinking about the future, okay. about what ch even Chinese food's gonna be in Chinatown. Right. I think that's really important. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. All right, folks, um, so we are 30 seconds away from the 25 minute mark. All right. So let's
I'd like to invite all of our competitors to take a moment, put down the dumpling you're currently working on, stand up, wait, put down the dumpling you're working on, stand up, give your time, take your time, take your time, nice little stretch, little hand stretch. Ah, yes. Because we're going to the last five minutes. It's going to be, uh, you want to try and pump out as many as you can in the last five. All right? And five minutes to go. Go ahead. Okay, go competitors. <laughs> I could have made three when you're doing one. Oh, really? Oh, Giovanni, it's almost oh, out. Oh, my goodness. Seven to what? Two to 50? I think so. Uh, I think, yeah, I think seven to 50. Mm -hmm. Giovanni is speeding along here. All right, how about we take another shot? I was wondering, do any of you have, know of any dumpling stories? Like, we heard sand cake stories and things like that when we were growing up. Did you grow up with uh, hearing any dumpling stories? <gasps> my oh, grandmother yeah. used to say, um, <laughs> if you if you don't if you if you eat them too quickly, um, uh, they'll burn a hole in your stomach because they're because they're so hot. And I used to be terrified when I was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> so I would just soak them in vinegar until they were kind of lukewarm. <laughs> that, nice. that's, that's my dumpling that's horror story. Yeah. How about you, Giovanni? Do you have any dumpling? No dumpling stories. How about you, Bob? I think the only one was that just sitting by the family kitchen table on a Friday night, and just making the dumplings and uh, just eating them. I can't. No superhero dumpling festival. <laughs> no, there's no superhero dumpling festival. <laughs> no, no lucky, lucky. In fact, when I was a kid, I was the shape of a dumpling. But you know. <laughs> so we have a very patient gentleman over there. Do you have a question? Oh, dumplings or lentils? Oh, that's a big that's a question. <laughs> They are, right? Hmm? Ukraine, uh, Ukraine. Uh, pretty much, yeah. But isn't some of the Ukraine background? Isn't it partially Asian too? Yeah. Say what? What did you say? There was a Columbia exchange in the late 1700s, and actually it was the Spanish explorers, Columbia, Columbus, they brought the potato over from South America to Spain to Ireland. So uh, that's one thing about food migration, but also uh, it was the Spanish that brought all the chili peppers from Spain to India to China, and it's only about 200 years of age that we have Sichuan cuisine. It's a very young cuisine because before then there was no chili peppers in uh, China. There's nothing spicy. Yeah. One more rapper yeah, with Giovanni. Oh, one. the last oh, rapper, oh, guys. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so is it so? Is it speed and taste? It's, it, that's right. It's, it's speed and look. And they got to be pretty. Pretty uniform. Oh, pretty. I guess they would all taste the same. That makes that's sense. Right. I'm from the point of quality, not quantity. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> that is a very good philosophy to have. Derek speeding up his technique a little bit. <laughs> trying, a little I'm bit trying, guys. Fast here. hands I'm trying. going on. And Bob is just steady, steady. He's not going to compromise the quality uh, of the dumpling that's for, right. for the contest. That's that's right. Thank you for observing that. Oh, we have to win. Done. Yeah. One minute away. One minute away. Oh, he's prepping already. My goodness. You want to see? And they all stand up on their own, too. That is very impressive. They do have to be back on the plate, Giovanni. Oh, they do? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is just for people to see. Just for people to see. Yeah, I'll put it back on the plate. <laughs>
Nice. Don't give up yet, Derek. It's right. not over. <laughs> oh, I yeah. like this. I like Keep this. so neatly. When was the first Before we remember. Before we remember is right. Before we remember. Alright. How are you excited for dumplings? The faster I get. I haven't been, um, I haven't, I haven't been back home in a while, so I've only been making it on my own for the most part. And, uh, Actually, back home, kind of just in our tiny little kitchen in Hong Kong, but everybody has their own little station. Yeah. Yeah. Chairs are in the right spot. No. Okay. <laughs> we gotta check with Dave because he's got the view of the camera. Yeah. There's not enough. Yeah. Yeah. yeah they just need to
but he doesn't oh, yeah. he doesn't take a chair. No. So and it's Derek and then the panel, right? Yeah. yeah. So yeah. we could bring these back so that you can stand in front and between them and the panel. Yeah. Yeah. And Giovanni is going to say something to Hey, how are you doing? Good to see you. How are you? 